Hello, I'm Dr. Camilla Edwards from First Opinion Veterinary Ultrasound, and today I'm going to teach you how to scan the pancreas. We will start with the left limb of the pancreas. We need to start by looking for the descending colon. We find that above the bladder, we go dorsal to the bladder, where we find this gas-filled structure, which is the colon. We follow that in longitudinal, cranially, and where that dips off, we'll see the, the spleen coming into to view, and that's where the colon goes into the transverse colon. We want our three landmarks in the image. So we want our stomach cranially, the spleen dorsally, and uh, the transverse colon caudally. So in this area, we'll see cranial, we have the stomach, caudal, we have the transverse colon, and dorsal, we have the spleen and we can see the splenic vein leaving the spleen. And it's in this area we'll see the left limb of the pancreas. The left limb of the pancreas is isoechoic and not very long in the dog, so it can be very hard to spot. But once we've fanned in this area and we haven't seen any abnormalities, we can be sure that the left limb of the pancreas is normal. So now we've turned Pippi over into left lateral recumbency and we're going to look for the right limb of the pancreas. So we start up near the kidney, near the right kidney, and we bring the probe ventrally down the abdomen. We're looking for the duodenum, which is the first loop of small intestine that we come across. So we pass the colon. And there at the top, we've got the, the duodenum. This is the first, so it's the most dorsal, most superficial loop of, and most straight loop of intestine that we come across. We can see that moving across the screen with some peristalsis happening as well in there. So we find the duodenum, which is the most dorsal, most superficial, most straight loop of small intestine uh, going across the screen here at the top. And um, the right limb of the pancreas lies uh, medially to the duodenum. So just on the other side of the duodenum here. We can see there's a lot of gas and food in the duodenum, so this can obstruct our view sometimes. Um, we can also follow it cranially to the pyloroduodenal junction where we will see more of the um, body of the pancreas. So to get a good view of the pancreas, it can sometimes uh, be advantageous to get a transverse view. So if we rotate the probe 90 degrees, we should get this triangular structure on the side of the duodenum, which is the pancreas. We can see the right limb of the pancreas is very isoechoic. Um, it has the pancreaticoduodenal vein running through it, so there's a small um, anechoic structure in the centre of it, and that can help us to identify it, particularly in a transverse view.